Yeah, yeah, you're interrupting me, shouting for your ass to come get us out of here. Talking. I was talking to you, and now you're over here. And I, I started talking to each other. Yeah, his fucking void death devils came out of the fucking oh, sky and ate a bunch of people. I'm listen. I'm done with all the roundaboutness. That's my job. Just tell me what the fuck is going on, so I can get the fuck back home to my kid. Um, we should find someone a little more private. I, I don't want these people to hear. Uh, let's go down there. He points to the house. Fine. I'm going. I go. Um, as you're kind of going down here, there is this distant, almost, almost in with how deep and loud this roar is. And there's this sudden, like, you can hear this almost flapping of what you think is wings. And you can tell it's coming from almost directly below you. Okay. 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 Um, I am a person who no shit. operates in a slightly different way than the rest of you. And I've been this way for an immeasurable amount of time now, okay? I'm not as tied or tethered to the strict progression of time as you all are. That's just what I am, as a very brief, very succinct description. As such, sometimes I can get a little confused and a little lost with interactions with certain people, okay? And that explains how you know our kids how. I have encountered your children. Sometime in the future, where they are, I've met each other and are both working together as a part of a group. I needed them to help me take care of this because there was no one really else at the moment who I could trust or wasn't indisposed. I just mixed up the time a little bit and I accidentally got all of you instead for reasons I won't get into. Now we're here. And I apologize for dragging you down here, but this really needed to get done now. Then what's the problem? Did you know that an hour down here... Yes, we know! ...is seven days up there? Yes. But it yes, doesn't have to be Yes, we've already been be here for way. seven days. It doesn't have to be that way. In fact, it might not be that way. And that would be very bad. You see, the sea down there is rising. Little yes. by little by little by little. And because we're so close to it, time moves so slowly that for, well, down here, it might be a year or two until this place is swallowed up. Up there, it could be decades. Yes, I am right? very aware. We've already been down here for an hour. I, I understand. Don't worry about all of that. As long as I'm here, I'll be able to rejiggle your time. I'll make sure that you will return to the same period when you left, in accordance to the time up there, not the time down here. You shouldn't Mr. do that, but I will do it. Mr. Landman, I will tell you one thing. You running into me, specifically, as self-boasting as this sounds, is better than you asking my future I-don't-know-how-old son because he does not possess the knowledge I know about time and space and manipulation. Running into me is a good thing. Okay, then thank the heavens, I suppose. Just not tell us what we want to do, need to do. I want to see my little Emily again. Time is relative. Incredibly relative. So relative that if there's no one there to experience that relativity, Time might not work in the same way, especially when so close to something like this that distorts time so heavily. It's like that age-old say you've heard it a million times before, if a tree falls in the forest, no one's around to hear it, it doesn't even make a sound. If there is no one down here, the sea will rise exponentially faster. And that's why they need to be down here. If there is no one down here, these people are basically sacrificed. Because if there is no one who is able 
to make this sacrifice, then pretty soon the lower plate will be just like this, and when that's swallowed up, the upper plate will as well. That makes a hell of a lot more sense. If people aren't there to experience the difference in time, their relativity, there will be no difference in time, be no relativity, and it will speed up exponentially. And you want to us to happen. waste away like everyone else down here. No, I'm not asking you to stay down here. He's asking us to fix the problem. I'm not asking you to fix the problem either. That is an impossible task. The problem currently is that there are currently creatures attacking this place on from this, or perhaps they're attracted to it. Honestly, I don't know what they are or how they are. But they exist and are currently trying to take down bottom. This city used to stretch all the way around the world pillar. Yes, the entire gigantic thing. Look what it is now. Very close to crumbling. And if we prevent it from crumbling, it's a little while longer, I can work to rebuild it. Make it a little better for both these people and everyone else who will be affected if we don't. So, what, are you asking us to stall while it's rebuilt? He's asking us to get rid of the monsters, and possibly where they come from. At least temporarily. You'll never get rid of where they come from. We have no idea where they come from. Why Just, don't you think we've done that? I don't think the three of you will be enough. So, to be completely honest with you, I don't know what to do. Someone with apparent knowledge of the future, you sure didn't seem to think far ahead, now did you? It doesn't work like that. I don't see the future. I experience it differently than you do. Non-linearly. He doesn't follow a linear line. He At follows... At least not normally. I'd prefer not to. It's taking all of my concentration to maintain the same past, present, and future the three of you are. You have no idea how difficult it is. If I wasn't trying this hard and putting this much energy into it, I couldn't even be following along. I might have encountered you ten years before this moment, and expected you to deal with this now. That's why I couldn't just break you down here. But once this is done, I can drop that and teleport you back up, and everything will be the way it was. Right, just kill a couple thousand fucking hell spawn. No, no fucking problem, right? Lily. I will admit, I underestimated the problem. This one already nearly got ripped in half by it. None of these people here can fucking fight. Whoever's sending your sacrificial lambs down here is picking the shittiest one on the stocks. And who do you think is doing that? Let's not get in a fight now here. And uh, Len, who was originally sitting, is now stand is going to stand up and he goes, Listen, I don't care what is and isn't, and I don't care what will and won't be. What will be is I will see my son again, and that is the problem to me. Therefore, whatever I need to do to get this done can possibly happen if... Some timey wimey shit happens with me being involved. I will work on a solution. I just need enough time. There will be another wave coming very soon, potentially tonight. I know time is and daylight and night is very non is very ambiguous down here, but in about five I months, I would estimate eight or ten hours. Again, do not worry about the time that's passing up there. Once this is all dealt with, I can just bring you back to the moment you left. It'll be like nothing even changed. Again, I shouldn't do that, but I'm asking a lot of you people anyway. I understand that. And ask even more for you to sacrifice weeks with your family. Just buy me enough time until the end of this. I can find someone else and find something else and figure out what to do here. Okay. How much time? He said at least just four to eight hours. No, more than that. Like eight to ten until the next wave comes. Just help me through the next wave. Help this place through the next wave. And I'll figure it out. Okay? I'm going sure. to have to trust you because I have no other choice. Next wave. Then I can go back to my daughter. That's it. Okay. Thank you. That's not just a thank you from me. Better meant for the tr better meant for Lucas. It's a thank you from a lot of people. Got a name, fuckface? Not anymore. 
I'll name whatever you I need. quite like. <laughs> what, <face. laughs> what is it, Galileo? That would be a silly name for somebody. Be it fuckface or whatever. I'll go with Father Time. Thank. Tell Mother Earth if you see her. That's I'd very say hello. pretentious. I, I am not calling myself that. <laughs> Thank you. And he disappears. It's for the betterment of my son. It's for the betterment of my son. It's for the betterment of my son. Um, somewhere off in the distance, you hear another infinitely loud roar. That ambiguity seems to be mauled. I need to rest if I want to even remotely keep you all alive. I'm not used to having more than one other person with me, therefore it's been a little easier. Don't you worry about me. Having you disappear is not on the schedule. Sorry. Yeah, well being fucking down here wasn't on anybody's schedule. You're directing your anger at the wrong place, Miss Lily. I, it's not directed. This is This is open source anger. All day, 24-7. I am going to take this in stride. And I am going to do this if it is going to kill me. What do you say we not hang out in this town while we sit around and rest at the moment? At least at the front of it or something. Ain't nowhere else. But sure. Okay. I'll sit off the edge and spit into the void. Sounds like fun. Um, can I? I have a 50-foot hammer rope. I wanted yeah. to try something. I was going to hold on to the edge of the rope and I was going to throw the rest into the void to see what would happen to the rope. Okay. Um, do you toss it or do you slowly lower it? No, I have, I'm holding like a good chunk like wrapped around my wrist in my hand. Um, and I have a pocket knife ready for if something happens uh, in my other hand. But uh, I'm going to toss the rest of the rope into the void to see what happens okay. to the robot. So itself. you're not gonna lower it slowly. You're just gonna bundle up. Okay. Um, I'm holding um, onto the edge, and I'm gonna cut. Uh, and I'm gonna pull it up if it somehow gets cut. Okay. Um, you toss it over, and it begins like unfurling in the air, being pulled down incredibly quickly to this void. Um, about ten feet over the lowest edge, the rope suddenly goes completely taut, and it almost pulls you over the edge. You immediately cut it, and you watch in amazement as this rope begins falling at crazy speed. Um, it's very mm. full of becoming distorted and twisted as you're looking at it, or maybe just the way you're looking at it is becoming twisted. Um, and even though it had this incredible speed at first, it begins to slow down, slow down, slow down, and slow down, and then it's covered by a dark cloud. So it seems whatever that is pulls things in and holds it. Uh, can I draw an intelligence check? Yeah, I'll really get an intelligence check. That's 18 plus 5, motherfucker. It's not that it's holding the item. It's that the closer you get to this void, the slower time is moving. It's not that it's holding it. It's that you're watching the rope slow down in time exponentially quickly as it gets closer. Basically, uh... I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a thing. Basically, the void is like a fantasy black hole. Ah. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. That, that helps me envision it. In, in meta, I'll just tell you this, because you could probably figure it out with that knowledge. It's not that the sea is rising, it's that the world pillar is slowly being absorbed and crushed into the black hole. Just makes me wonder, what... What was at the bottom of it? Nothing. No, it's not that I d No, either it's A, nothing was down there to begin with, but he said this used to extend down to the bottom. Insinuating that somehow, some way, something, or someone, depending... As you say that, you kind of like finger and rub at your hidden item, Sam. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm just telling you that Len does. Can I pull it out? I, you're telling me, and you're insinuating at me. I'm going to trust you. <laughs> I, I want you to pull wanna, it out. I'm just. I want to know what it do is. You, do you? That's I know Sammy I know. wants to know. Do you really think that Len would be willing to pull it out? Something that he's sworn off. Something that he fears. Something that he's paranoid about. Something that has ruined parts of his life and parts of the world before. Do you really think he'd pull it out right now? Oh, he's thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. He's thinking about it. If there's any way- if there- I, if it is a deck of many things. I don't know which one, but one of those cards has the wish spell. 
I don't think he did. I think he's think. I think he thinks about it for a moment. And he's just like, I'm just like chucking detritus into the void. It's like bits of trash and rocks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I may not be a scholarly type like you, but I. That is the absence of things. Exactly. It's just nothing. Yeah. So when they fall off, they fall into nothing. They become They're... nothing. I, think, I was going to say, think of it kind of like a furnace, and you're throwing things into the furnace. They burn, and they never come back. It was a furnace is something. Well, I need to take a very long rest. She's just going to pop a nap right here? I don't have a choice if I'm going to keep the rest of us alive. Like I said, I'm only used to me and my wife. So I'm used to keeping her alive and myself. With two other people, it's a bit more difficult than that. I start running out of resources faster. I, I just meant with the proximity to the ledge. Uh, all... no. <laughs> you, we you should... It's fine. Move around, right? When you I sleep? Rest a little. That's what y'all do? Yeah, I'm gonna, let's gotta go find somewhere, like, something to kick back onto, to, like, lay up against. And he's, like, uh, gonna wanna, be, like, basically are you, gonna, are you gonna, are you gonna, like, camp out on the, rock, on the ledges of the world pillar? Or are you gonna no. find a house you can sleep in? Being on the edges of the world pillar feels too far from the town, in case anything happens. Like, I'll probably go, like, sit down, like, next to one of the houses, and, like, just lean up against it. Uh, this guy actually comes out. Um, and he's going to approach all of you, and he's going to say, Ah, oh, hello. Sorry about that. Oh, you can see he's injured, because he took a piece of the head. Um, Eugene, I wanted right? to thank you. Yes, Eugene. Um, I wanted to thank you. I think if you had not been here, I would be dead at this moment. I don't plan to let any of you disappear at the moment. Thank you for saying that. You are more than welcome. Well, um... If, if you need a place to sleep, you can come into one of the tents. Um, there are still some people in there. It, it's going to be their shift next, but there are plenty of sleeping spaces if you're okay with getting a, a little cozy. That's... I, Lynn's gonna stand up and he's gonna go, yeah, I could use that. Um, he guides you into this large one. He's right next to you. I'm sorry, that's you. Where are the... Uh, are you... Lily and sitting in as well? Might as well. I'm gonna... I'm gonna decline. Just wake us up when anything happens so we can help. So obviously the village, yeah, the city, or, or what was once a city, isn't quite as barren as you guys expected. There are some people, like every tent, basically, or most tents at least, but it's still not a lot, especially compared to what you think it might have once been. Uh, Lily, where are you going? Um, I'm gonna wander a little bit. Well, I wanna... It's kind of pointless talking to these people, but I wanna try... Do Going up to that guard. Do you remember? I don't know. None of us know. When the sea rose, we came here. We found this place. I'm wondering how y'all got building materials out here. I don't know. There used to be more. There used to be a lot more. It used to be better. Do any of you remember not being here? No. I wish I did. I'll um, She stands there, completely stoic. Not moving a muscle, not even looking at you. Um, but despite her completely stone cold, still face, um, a single tear begins to pour. Uh, my apologies, I'll leave you be. I'm gonna go uh, towards the world pillar. Ooh, okay. uh, you head across the incredibly rickety um, towards this kind of like path of wooden planks. What are you doing? What? Is there anything in the water? Um, you look over, and, um, actually, yes. Um, you kind of reach down, and you kind of, like, you kind of taste it, because it smells a little weird. Not, like, not, like, weird, weird, but it tastes faintly of seawater and salt. Um, but not especially. It's like it's been filtered. Mm -hmm. Um, inside the bottom of the pool, you can also see some, like, hills of sand. So it looks to be gold pieces. Um, hmm. Can you roll me an investigation check to see if you see anything else? Or perception, whichever is higher. That's a plus six. Okay. Uh, it's it's 20. Um, you kind of like peer into the water and something is peering back. Nothing alive, but human skull is resting in one of the sandbox. And next to it, you can see a bit of wood 
remnants of what looks to maybe actually have been a ship up on the bottom plate. Uh, you can kind of like summarize that this water is probably coming from the bottom plate and pieces of shipwreck um, will sometimes flow down here along with other various things. I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna take my my short rest meditating out here. Um Lil uh sorry, Artemis and Lane, you two are in this tent with uh, several other people. It's a little cramped, but it's not it could be worse, really. Um what are the two of you doing? The others are kinda like sat down quietly, sleeping or resting. Um the town of Bottom, has it always been called Bottom? Are you asking? Who are you asking? I'm just thinking out loud. Um, Eugene's going to speak up and he says, It has for the past two years I've been here. I've asked the same question, but people here don't know. For all we know, it could have once been town. For no good reason, I'm going to use the mirror and I'm going to think about the town. I don't know if it works on location. It doesn't. I have to think of something. What about the world pillar itself? That's an object. It's a good idea, and I do to see if it works or not, but you can't even use it in this moment. Uh, what is Artemis doing? Uh, he's kind of just... He sat, sat down. He's kind of mentally not completely there, but he's... I guess you could say he's just getting ready for the inevitability of, the, of, the, what's hap of the next couple of hours. You kind of rub at your weapon, your hidden item. You struggle in close range, and this would fix that. Lily. Mm-hmm. This next battle might be very, very bad. If worst comes to worst, you think potentially your hidden hidden item could potentially deal with everything instantly. And you're also incredibly hesitant to use it because it has effects your personality. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it could potentially solve everything here. Len, your hidden item, like Lily's, could potentially solve this whole problem. But unlike Lily's, you don't know what the repercussions could be. They could be minor, or they could be, they could be major. horrible. Um... You also don't even know, again, there is this enormous black hole beneath you. It might be seriously warping and messing with stuff. Bottom is not your normal place. I don't know if I've made that clear this session. It's not normal. Wait, really? <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. I, I, don't wanna, I don't want to just drop that on you guys now, you know? I'm sorry. I probably should have hinted at it a little God. better. Justin, <laughs> but it to might actually know if it's, use if it's useful... I need to know what it is. Do you take it out? I just want to know what it is. I don't want to know what it does. I want to know what it, it is to is determine it. The, what it looks like and what it is, it is a decorationless, simple, silver metal band that fits around one of your fingers. It's slightly corroded and it's very old. Take your long rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take my long okay. rest. You gain back most uh, any abilities you have that come back on the rest. You gain back all of your hit points. You gain back all of your spells. Um, in game, suddenly your long rest is ended by the sound of what you could almost call calm in the distance. Um, you guys rush out of your tent. Um, Maya, Justin, I assume Lily rushes to the forefront as well. Could I have preemptively cast a blur on myself and. Yeah, could I preemptively cast a blur on myself? Uh, I'll say that you cast it right now, yeah. Yeah! Temper already uh, set it up. Sammy, just saying, you can also give it to allies, and they can cast it too. Did you do that? Yeah. Okay. Um, Everyone now has the blur effect. Everyone must concentrate on the spell, but that means that everything that rolls against you has everything that tries to attack you has disadvantage. Which one of you think you were the weakest out of the bunch? Personally, I think it's myself, but... Uh, Emery's been over there, took quite a beating this time. Are you feeling better? I'm fine. You guys look out into this endless dark sky, and you see... a very bad sight. Um... There are... many 
<laughs> Obviously, but there are many. There is one, two, three, four, five, six of those creatures you fought before. Uh, along with that, you could hear these screams coming from down along the boardwalk. Um, and you see these strange wolf-like creatures clawing their way onto the wood from the stone below. Um, even amongst all this, you hear this loud chittering noise. And coming, wrapping around the world pillar is this enormous, dark like creature. Loads of feet. Yes. It has such a cute little face. It does, but it's, it's oh. not cute. <laughs> and behind all of this, guys, you see this enormous mm -hmm. blackish blue dragon. You don't want to describe it as. Flapping its wings, not quite approaching like all the others are, but flying, and you almost describe it as watching. Like I said, one's for healing, one's for a plus one to your AC, one is flying speed of ten feet for ten minutes. I'll take the AC, then. Flight, fuck it. Oh. Sure, fuck it. You can have it, um, when you drink it, you get 2d6 plus five temporary hit points. I think I should also put on my cloak, too. That might help. Synergy. That's what we're about here. Maya, roll me a d20. Wait, what does that mean? Roll me a d20. What does that mean? Okay. 18! What did that mean? Is everyone ready? Fuck yep. it. Let's do this thing. Okay. Artemis, it is your turn first. Uh, immediately, this has happened. There are all these creatures in the air. There's creatures on the land. You have reacted for anyone else. What are you doing? Okay, then I'm going to go up to here, I guess. Okay. Uh, that is way too far. You can go about here-ish. Actually, you can go like probably. You can go That's right fine. there, basically. Uh, that was your. That was a whole dash action that you sprinted. Okay. Do you want to use your bonus action? Yeah, let's use nature's veil. Uh, okay, that means you have to be lightly obscured, and it basically makes you hidden. So you are now hidden. Len, it's your turn. It's my turn. My homunculus is active with me. Um, and it is moving along with me. I wanted to go somewhere like over, like over here. Or, like, somewhere that doesn't look like it could possibly collapse in. You could go about here with, um, your sprint. Sounds good. Okay. That was your full action? Yeah. yeah Monculus is moving with me. So, uh, Lily, what are you doing? Um, I think I'm also... I'm gonna move up, just fall dash, and... Actually, uh, wait, I have, like, uh, 400 range. How, how, how the fuck the far away is the worm? That thing? Oh, god. Um... Oh, 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 I'd say that you can hit it with this bash. <laughs> Taking all the pot shots I can be. Would you like a flash of genius? No, because I just rolled a 19 and a 20. Holy shit. Unfortunately, it's not a crit. I, know. I really wish it was. Goddamn. That's still 2d12 plus yeah, 5, yeah, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Which is I still can't very lose good. That doesn't mean you only go half. I know. But I also rolled 3. Oh. Wait, on 2d12? Yeah. That was a 2 and a 1. Oh my god. Give him, give him something, Justin. That's so no. pitiful. That, that, that's a really good weapon. They will. That's like an insanely good weapon. That's like the best weapon all of you have, and they go terribly. Maybe not not as good as like the oath bow or your secret weapon, but still, uh, that's three. That's seven damage. Uh, you raise up and you basically just fire, uh, aiming as best as you can, but getting a little wild. Um, and it kind of it kind of like hits it, but it only kind of chips this like. Chitterous arm, this like uh, the, 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 it's, it's almost like an insect. You would almost describe it as, um, and it roars directly at you. Taking it. Hey, bitch. Um, it is the monster's turn, and these three are going to it. It's nice to see that the dragon is not in the fight. Uh, ooh, a lot of damage. Um, it is currently a chaos battle that's happening all over the city. Uh, it is this group's turn, and he is going to run inside of his tent, while these two run out to help. If any of you want an extra d10 on an attack you are not confident about, just let it me know. It doesn't matter how confident you are, you can still roll fucking 3 on 2d12. <laughs> <laughs> it's for any attack, I mean, saving throw, fair, or ability you shot check. It from, like, what? It, 600 feet. I rolled He's a probably... 19! <laughs> <laughs> um, kind of like Lucas. Um, funny enough, Len also has a portent, but it's a little different. 
You really like those probability little portents, don't you? I didn't give it to myself. Justin gave it to me. Justin said this was an ability I own. Yeah, that is just a magic item that Lent like, honestly pointed in. It, it, it turned out to be very similar to Lucas's abilities. Uh, you use. Which, in, funny oh, enough, uh, which, funny enough, was very is very silly because that just shows even more of like the weird connection. There's so, his him and his son may not be so different. <laughs> Artemis, it is your turn. I'm gonna go right for the wolf dog thingy. Uh, want me to hit twice? Also, are you gonna one of your hunter's marks? Um, doesn't that break the concentration that uh, Alice? Yes, it would. You're yeah, gonna... I'm gonna keep the blur on for the time being. Just go ahead and roll two d twenty and tell me what you get. I got. 15 on both of them. They both hit. Okay. Roll damage. 2d8 plus 14. The first is a 7. The second is also a 7. Okay, so that was 28. Damn, that's 14 yeah, plus 14. Damage. Mm-hmm. Damn, nice. Uh, you let loose two high-speed arrows into the side of this thing, where it yelps and growls, turning to you. It's jaw almost taken off. It needs to be a oh. gross sight. Bonus action, anything or no? I think your only bonus action pull is um, your lightning arrow and maybe a spell. The only other bonus actions I have besides the lightning arrow is the hunter's mark, but that's also concentration. I am yeah. going to stay where I am for now, then. Okay. Len, your turn. What are you doing? Oh, no. Everything's so far away. Um... I'll use the time to prep up and get stronger. Remember, you haven't used your spells yet. Are these things undead? Not technically. I'll tell you, they are all aberrations. So Len knows that they are all aberrations. Yes. Or that's how you would classify them. I want to waste a first level spell slot to make another elixir. Okay, what are you making? I'm going to take the flying and I'm going to immediately down it. Okay, Uh, cool. You are now flying. Are you going to move any? Um, I only get to move 10 feet. Okay, where are you moving? Towards kind of this middle area over here. Okay, so you can probably get to about probably exactly there. Uh, you are also now flying. I assume your homunculus is coming along with you? Oh, always. And okay. that is my entire action. Uh, Lily, it is your turn. This thing is angry at you. You just chinked um, its armor and it is... Ooh. Um... So he gave me the flight. It gives you a 10 foot fly speed, but there's no concentration, so there's no worry about something unless you're knocked unconscious. Long does it last? Um, 10 minutes. Basically, more than enough. Cool. I'm gonna take that and just go fucking. Okay, uh, just Maya, please up. also roll me. Please also roll me 2d6 plus 5 temporary hit points. Okay. Uh, you fly 10 feet into the air. <laughs> Do you want to dash for another 20 feet, or do you attack? Yeah, we're going up more. Um, okay, you're going to dash? I'm going to say, come get me so bitch. <laughs> um, it is another group of these creatures' turns. Um, these three are all, like, clambering over each other, and it's this, like, mess of, like, tentacles. Uh, Maya, you've flown up 10 feet, uh, 20 feet. This thing is going to jump at you! Look at dare you, sub bitch! Uh, it rolled really high! Roll me a dexterity oh, no! saving throw. I'm good at those. Maya, you hey, have Flash hey, of I'm Genius! Good at those. Plus five! I'm. Okay, thank you for that, because I did roll seven. Um. <laughs> plus five. Uh, 17 plus, plus five. Your... 17 plus I imagine, I imagine when, I imagine because I'm also 10 feet in the air, I see this happen, and I'm just like, just lean your body that way! There's a way to fly! Go lean that way! Um, you manage to dodge out of the way as it slams into, are you trying to kill it? Do you want to hack it? I thought it, I thought it might, um, fucking fall. Uh, yeah, I, I asked about to roll the chat. So it slams down into the stone, managed to dodge it, it needs to roll to stay on him. Uh, and it rolled a one! <laughs> it goes <jumped> off again! <laughs> 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 it's gone to the void! Ah! <laughs> Bitch is gone! God, Justin, why couldn't you have gotten that earlier? <laughs> He's gone! When I almost uh... died horribly. <laughs> is it just gone? Um, it'll 
probably come back, but I actually need to roll to determine if it does. <laughs> um, if it does or not, you've delayed it a lot. If it does, uh, this person now we're going to attack. Okay, that's a decent amount of damage to this one. This little group up here, uh, the one where my marker is, of uh, the skeleton and his three friends are basically tearing into this wolf-like creature and just did a nice. full ton of damage to it. Uh, it is yelping in a lot of pain. Uh, Artemis, it is your turn. Alright, I'm going to attack this wolf okay. again. Roll to hit. So let's see, that's the 17 plus 13... That's the 14 plus 13, so I think it's like, what, a 27 and a that 21? both definitely fucking hit. Jesus Christ. You are... Did uh, you, I don't know, guys, did you know that out. if Cole ever somehow missed one of these attacks, they can make another attack and still hit? Justin, that's Christ, 24 damage. Uh, right. Do you want to describe you killing it or shall I? So, we're gonna get a little bit fancy. Uh, he fires the first, but for the second, he twists... He plays with the, the arrow in his fingers for a second before charging it up, pausing briefly, and then just letting it Okay, uh, Legolas. It okay, Legolas. whips through the air, piercing straight through the uh, dog's head, uh, actually dragging its body a couple of feet into the wood wall behind it and pinning it up like some kind of bridge trophy. Lynn, what are you doing? Hey, Justin, uh, would you say those things are within 60 feet of me? If you move a little closer, uh, you can hit it. Within 60 feet. Like, how close? Like, over here? Yeah. So I'm gonna fly over there, and I'm going to... I'm gonna do a Ray of Sickness. Very nice. You want me to hit? That's a 21. No, Definitely that's a 22, hits. my bad. Definitely Woo! Hits. That is poison damage. What's the damage? Oh my god! I didn't have to roll to hit! You need to make me a constitution saving throw! Okay. It failed. Trust me. Holy shit! That's it. I didn't expect it to max. 8 plus 8 plus 5? That's 21. Nice. Yeah. Um, my homunculus, I would like it to fly as close as possible. And with its 30 foot, I want it to hit! Okay. So 14 you... plus 9. That hits. What'd you say, Maya? It's the mouth situation on these things. It's hard to tell from the top down. Um... They're almost like someone took a human face, grabbed the lips, and then stretched it out like Play-Doh to be like a muscle. That's bad. 26? How much? Sam? Uh, 7 damage. 7 damage. Okay. Lynch just- Lynch just throwing with- with- with, uh, with slingshots, he's just throwing vials. Lily, it is your turn. You are 20 feet in the air. Um, oh god, I'm so fucking far away. You have a crazy range, though. Yeah, I know. But I have other methods of damage. Um, I'm gonna fucking come up here and, and basically just, like, fucking sniper nest. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take aim at that wolf before it eats another person. You want me to hit? Uh, 16 plus? 11? Yeah, that definitely hits. Roll damage. Uh, also, um, I'd say these people are close enough. It's very distracted. Uh, well, think it's at. Oh, oh. Uh, I rolled a so, 12. Oh, fuck. Plus 7. I rolled a 12. With, with sneak attack. Plus 7. With sneak with attack. Sneak attack. 66. 66. I got you, my man. How much damage? 23! That's enough to kill it. Uh, do you want to describe it, Maya? I... I want... Eat lead, yeah, bitch! Yeah, I'm just... I'm taking a fucking sniper opinion, just like, snorkeling's a good job, Mike. And there's... It's... It goes off the fucking ledge. Like, the buckshot, I think, is that powerful. Uh, it fucking drops into the void. Uh, already very damaged from these people in skeleton, written piece. Um, who had damaged it pretty damn good with some after 20s uh, your buckshot tears it apart. Its limbs literally fucking fly into the air. Um, these... Uh, this one is going to fly over here and tear open this tent to get to this person. Uh, he's not dead, but he is hurt. Um, you notice they aren't really bothering to eat anything like they did before. Um, it, it seems like they're purely out 
to just tear these people apart in this town. This one is flying towards you, Yui. Not Yui, Artemis. Great! Uh, these several people are all lining up mm-hmm. to fight the one that's currently flying at you. So you're gonna have some good help. We are in the middle of stuff, but I want you to realize this second wave is starting to come in now. Is it not already yet? Oh. Nope. Yeah, the, 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 this is a this is a thing. Artemis, it is your turn. Things are not looking good. The town is under complete siege, and that dragon is still just watching. And that looks to be by far the most dangerous thing about that. Other. I am going to attack okay. this one first. That first is a modified twenty. It's. And the next one is a twenty-eight. Definitely, it's. Twenty-five damage. Nice. And then afterwards, I'm going to move back. And as my bonus action, I'm going to use my Nature's Veil again to hide. Okay. Uh, you mm-hmm. are hidden. Uh, Len, it is your turn. What are you doing? It's my turn. Ooh, ooh it's my turn. Um, I'm going to cast a second little spell, and that will be most Acid Arrows, because they're 90 feet of me. And I'm going to chuck it at, at this fucking fool right here. Okay, roll to hit. Uh, that's 16 plus 9. It's... Uh, so... These things don't have great AC. Yeah, they don't. They have a lot of health. 13 plus... That's a whole 19 damage, and that was poison, so 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that's minus 24 damage. And um, it's looking pretty hurt. My homunculus it was a little weaker is going than the to others. hit it. Okay, nice. It's 12 plus 9. The hits. Damage. Nice. That's a whole d4. I'll go ahead and tell you. If your roll is above 16 for any of these slimy boys, you hit. Okay? Okay. Just to make that a little easier. That's 7 damage. Okay. And as my movement, I'm going to start drifting back this way. Lily, it is your turn. You are in the sniper's nest. There is this one which seems to be coming at you. Snipe that bitch. Um. If you want sneak attack, you need to get within five feet of it because there's no one else around you. You can do some of your gun foo on <laughs> Big Tentacle Boy. That's literally what I was thinking about. I was like. I kind of just want to fucking try to shove the gun in its mouth. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. literally just like, I'm going to fucking vault towards it. It doesn't open its mouth towards me. I'm, okay. I'm going to fucking get as close as possible. Just fucking unload a shot into its mouth. Okay, I'm going to say if you're willing to get right in its mm-hmm. mouth, you'll do extra damage, but it'll have an opportunity. To- Fine, bitch. Does a 17 plus 13 hit? Yeah, yeah it does. Uh, that is... 32 damage, as you basically run directly oh, into its row of teeth. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna do a lot more damage, because this is a ballsy-ass well, play, uh, and I love it. Hang on. Okay. Well, only... Well, first, you need to hit... You're probably gonna. I'll reduce its AC a little bit because, again, you're in its. Um, uh, so, we're gonna yeah, hit? 17 plus. Not. Okay. Definitely fucking hits. Roll roll 2d12 plus 5 plus 12d6. I got okay. your 12d6. I got a 13 plus 5. That's 17 plus. 54. 54 damage! That's 71 damage. <laughs> Damn! Um, your bullet has gone straight through the roof of its mouth, out the top, and there's this little fountain of blood that is spurting from it. It's still alive somehow. Do they have but a bonus it action? Is horribly in pain, and its eye has been blown out of its head. Maya, do you have a bonus action to attack again or something? Something that'll let you attack no. again? Wait, do I? You know what, Maya? What I completely forgot? It oh. had this advantage to hit you. It did. My my roll me a constitution saving to maintain concentration on saving throw. Um yeah yeah yeah. Um but I, I, I'm not good. At that. I plus five flash of genius. 
Uh, um, what's, 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 <laughs> what's, what's, uh, uh, 13. You lost concentration on blur, I'm sorry. That's fine. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, do you have a bonus action? You want to do anything? I think I do. Already drink. Like moving? You can try and grapple it. You could. <laughs> With a bonus action, you can grapple after a melee. After a melee. You know what? I I've already made this build. I'll say that you can try and grapple it after like, a melee gun attack, which is basically what we <laughs> You want to do that? You want to try and grapple it? I'm not even sure if it's big enough. It'll be a really hard jack. Um, you can try. If I can piss it off and hold it still, yeah, fuck it. If you want to, if it, oh, are you? Either. Okay, roll me a really, really hard jack. Try and like okay. keep it there. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. Twenty-four. Um. Fuck it, sure. You really fucking pissed this thing off. It is not gonna go after anyone else. Congrats! Uh, Maya, remember that you have, um, the uncanny dodge skill? Um, so actually, that was only 15 damage you took, so put on 15. I always forget that you have uncanny dodge skill. Remember, you're a rogue. You have a lot of things to reduce damage. <laughs> but I'm... I'm gonna be a fucking action protagonist. Uh, so Maya, just remind me that yeah. once a turn, you can use your reaction to okay, reduce damage Okay, I'm gonna write it down back. next to my hip points. Uh, this is going after you. Probably... I think it's probably seen you take out the wolf, um, Artemis, with such grace, and it's going straight after you. I thought it was hidden. Uh, oh, that's ah, true. Got you're got right. Right. My bad. You will have to, like, go back over here, though. Uh, then it okay. will attack these people. Um, it did a lot of damage. This person is very hurt. They will die in the next turn. Oh, uh, they are slowly whittling down these over here. They're not doing great, but they're not doing terrible. The cave lady uh, is going to run up and slice at this thing's face, uh, doing a little bit of damage as it takes a bit of a bad beating. I'm also going to attack this bad boy here again and do a good amount of damage. Uh, this one over here is looking pretty hurt. Oh, babe! That Ray of Sickness what? one had poisoned condition until the end of my next turn. It's not even its turn yet, so can't do that. Uh, Maya, this one is going to attack you back. <laughs> you are holding it down, and it got a fucking... <laughs> it got a 19, not a 20! But a 19! But almost, Jesus Christ! <laughs> um, it's also very angry at you, it's got a very good taste, it's gonna try and swallow you as well. I'm holding its mouth, so good luck. Yeah. Romy, take me 35 damage. Okay. As it drops into your flesh. Tearing you and causing your blood to fucking go out. Although have it, because evasion! Oh, okay, what's half of that? 17. Okay. Uh, now you need to roll me a strength saving throw. Maybe I rolled a 9. Maya? Maybe my saving throw is plus 5. Nine plus five. Will you let me react to give them a d10 to add to that? What is what is your what is your uh, wheel? Portent of, Portent of the star. Portent of the star. Well, you to react. It's a reaction um, once per day, sixty when feet. You, May I add one uh, d10 to any attack, saving throw, or ability check. I will say just bear. Still, even with this, it's not a guaranteed success. You better Maya, buy. Add mm -hmm. a d10 to your roll. A d10. I You're really lucky. It. 10? Okay, add 10. You're okay. Just barely. And now you'll need to roll it again, because the second one is attacking you. Okay. Uh, Maya, uh, does the 18 hit? The attacker wins, right? Um, no, we said the defender yeah. wins earlier oh. in the session. We said okay. the defender yeah. wins. Yeah, Running with defender wins. Normally it does. Okay, you're okay. It you you it kind of like bites at you, um, but you basically use the one you're currently half inside. <laughs> you use its head to block. Wait, the other does that one get hit then? Uh, it'll take a little bit of damage. I won't say much, but it'll take a little. Bit. Uh, and as they do, they kind of like angrily snarl at each other. What's, uh, what's this bitch in the middle? What, what, what what's this bitch in the middle doing right here? Bitchin', Artemis. It is your turn. You are currently hidden. I'm gonna move here. 
And I am going to attack the one that's been attacking Santiago. Okay. Or been attacking really. my foe wife. <laughs> roll to hit. It is incredibly damaged. You may kill it. That is a 23. That hits. And that's a crit. <gasps> that's a crit. Okay. That's a crit. Roll 3d8 plus 22. 22? What do you mean 21? 22. Take the 22. Okay, fine. No, you're right. 21. My bad. No, it's 22 Thanks. now. No, it's 22 now. No takes these back. No, it's 22 now, Justin. You already said it. No takes these back. One point. If one point kills, no takes these back. That's 3d8 plus 22. That is a 41. Holy fuck. <laughs> that is literally one point enough oh. to kill. I'm so upset. <laughs> What? No, take these backsies, Justin! Get your nose right! That is ridiculous! No, take these backsies! I'm not. I love that, but I'm also very upset. Um, Justin, that's why you should remember your own shit! <laughs> Lily, uh, your hand is like in the throat of this thing. And suddenly, it's like about to chop down on you and pitch you in half. But these two perfectly aimed arrows, one of them pierces the other eye, and it's is because uh, Cole, do you want to describe the other one? Or I? Cole, can I imagine that you that you Go did ahead. a flip on top of the fucking beams? <laughs> yeah, you sure. fucking do a cool <laughs> ass flip let and you let here. loose another arrow fly, and it pierces straight through the throat, into the mouth, out the other side, through its brain. Uh, and Lily, you literally see you're like half in its mouth. You see the arrow go th Can you just delete them off the screen, Justin, instead of, you know, having and it the there? And the thing just fucking drops. Um, I'll say it, like, tumbles down here onto the ground. And it goes. You okay? Nice shot. Uh, Len, what are you doing? Woo! Um, I'm going to cast Mel's Acid Arrow again, but at higher level this time. But before I do that, I would like, uh, this one's pretty badly injured, isn't it? Uh, yes. I'm gonna have my... The one right next to it and the one to your left are basically brand new. This one, this one, this one, uh, and this one are all above 100, some more than others. It's not looking good. It is not looking good. Um, I imagine that Lynn takes a moment to kind of go uh this this is why I, this is why I wish Scarlet was here because she would be telling me what to do um not good at making decisions um so he's just gonna again throw a mouse acid arrow right at the one that um at this one actually the, this one I've been attacking this one is still pretty good looking so I'm gonna hit the one that's pretty good looking okay it needs to roll me. Actually, I need to hit. Haha. -ha. And it ne and that's an 18 plus okay. 9. Does that hit? Definitely hits. Yeah, um hits. <laughs> And I've casted it third damage, level. Damage. I I've casted it third level this time. Go ahead and just roll all the d4. So that's and It a is almost dead. Damage. Not dead yet. Um as you do that, Sammy, um this enormous dragon lets out this dragon and begin swooping in as well. And, Lily, um, I didn't get to finish my bonus oh, sorry. action. Sorry, sorry, my bad. My bad, my bad. My bonus action, I'm using my homunculus to attack the one that is looking pretty, pretty beat up. That's a 10 plus 9, 19. Okay. That's 7 more damage from the homunculus. Okay. And I will it use... It is nearly dead. And I will use my movement to kind of... kind of back up a little more. Okay. Lily, it is your turn. This big ass fucking dragon looks pissed. There are still loads of these things that are very much on health, and there is an entire dragon, which is um, I'll just tell you in meta, um, CR fourteen. Woo! That's not. That's um, not. That's not good. Which is flying in. Um, it's also, good. the thing that you knocked off the edge might be coming back up. Just so you know. If there was a time Thanks. to use your hidden thing, now would be the time. Maya, just do it! How many of these fucking townspeople are dead? Like, a lot of them? Many. A lot. Yes. 
she's was gonna get ready to like jump on top of this one here and shoot it and then the fucking dragon comes in and she just sort of sighs and lowers her weapon and uh, Justin will take over the rest. Okay. Um, okay, are you using it? Yeah, I'm using it. Your item is not an item. Not technically. It is something that you have inherited by birthrights. It is a powerful ability inherited through blood and magic. The inherent power of said blood as you finally let it explode. This pent up energy that has been stuck inside you for so, so desperate to escape and you desperate to keep it contained this one time finally letting it slip and it explodes in this golden energy that flows behind you your eyes begin glowing and you raise several feet off of the ground maya you just use your ability the halo of ego <gasps> oh don't worry about the halo of ego um with this, you let out this blinding golden light across the battlefield, and every single creature is going to have to make a very a saving throw. Um, every single creature, except for allies, every single creature here, Maya, except for this one and this one, are completely cowed and completely oppressed by your power. And the rest, including the dragon, immediately turn up and begin tearing them apart. This one? Uh, no, allies included. Um, Sammy, both you and Cole need to roll me a wisdom saving throw and tell me what you get. 25. Uh, that Matt succeeds. 20 plus 8. That succeeds as well. But, like, both of you got close. Uh, Len, you got very close. There is something inside you that is like. I need to bow, Lily. This feels perfect. This feels amazing. This feels like what you were born for, like what you were made for. This is what you know you deserve. You have a choice here. You can make every single creature take a very large saving throw or take a very large amount of psychic damage. Or you could just send them off. What do you want to do? What do you want to do is basically your choice. You could basically burn their minds and potentially burn the minds of some of the people down below. Yeah, that's the concern is the, um... Do I have any idea how long it would make them flee? Um, you have complete and utter control of them for 72 hours. That's enough to keep everything away for at least three days for us to figure something out. I want them to devour each other. Kind of. It's almost like the morale does that. As really you feel like this is so right. And suddenly you begin feeling so amazing and so powerful and so unbelievably like this is exactly what you were meant to do um and some tiny part of you knows that that's not yeah. good but it's very it's better than dying violent. in this hell pit um, um, hold on sammy you can do len what are you saying about len I, w I was saying like i imagine when this happens uh len kind of like turns over to look and when he has that feeling and he thinks he understands uh, what's going on he's like He's just, like, watching, and he's just like, what in the absolute fucking hell is Every that? Every single one of these creatures tear each other to shreds. They have these writhing, slimy bodies now covered in blood, spurting blood everywhere. Mike, can you roll me a wisdom saving throw? Uh-huh. 21. Um, you feel this immense satisfaction, and a very large part of you 
is to watch the people do it to each other as well. A very, very large part of you. And you're about to do it before some part of you reels you back just a little bit. And you don't command them to tear each other in puppets. Um, instead, being mostly satisfied to watch these creatures literally tear each other to shreds. Um, this group here begins falling down on this group here. Um, Cole, you need to make me a dexterity seven. That's a modified 20. Uh, you easily jump out of the way, back away from this. When suddenly, the floor beneath your feet cracks, it pulls, and you begin falling. Wing that bitch! Me, Wing me, that me, bitch! Me, uh, 17 plus 9. Uh, 26. Grab the of the wood around you, uh, managing to hold yourself up. Uh, the other people around, the other uh, people at bottom, are behind the bodies of this huge thing. You manage to grab it, you're about to pull yourself up when someone steps onto your hand. And you look up, and you see that same strange, ethereal man who had handed you the card before. And he smiles down at you, and he holds up a piece of clothing that you recognize very well. Clothing that's supposed to be on your back right now that can turn into wings. For luck, remember? Auntie rears his look back and kicks your feet up your hands off the bridge. Uh Oh And you fall. You are spinning and tumbling, and as you fall, you begin to count the minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And as you do, every minute your body begins feeling like it's being torn up at some fundamental level. It feels like parts of your cells are being eroded as you're laying here awake. Slowly falling into this infinite black hole. On top, a couple of minutes pass. Len, I think you just saw Artemis fall off. And as you kind of rush over to try and help in some way to fly down, you immediately see that they've been lost beneath one of the clouds. I imagine this might be a good time to use your item. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what's going to happen. This needs to happen now. I'm not gonna let Artemis die on my fucking watch. My wife will kill me. Um, <laughs> you, in, you pull out of your bag. I imagine this makes Len angry enough. Oh, yeah. You reach in, pull out of your bag, silver metal band, eroded and corroded by years of age and wear. This once belongs to Balix. And he used this to cause very bad things to happen in very large ways. Yeah. This was once upon a time a ring of three wishes. Oh, it's down to its last room. I imagine when Lin puts it on, he's just sighing and he's just looking despondent and he's just looking like I have to do something. And he sits, and I, I imagine this takes a lot of, like, very moments during these 20 minutes that Artemis is experiencing. Um, I imagine Len is imagining talking to Lucas. And in his head, the, the monologue goes of, what do you think I should wish for? And Lucas makes some silly answer of, like, a million, like, a million cookies or something. And it, he's like, no, 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 look, sweetheart. Somebody is in a lot of dangerous trouble, and I don't want to see them get caught up in that. What do you, what do you think daddy should wish for? And I'm, and, and this is an inner monologue going on of Len talking to himself. And... Even though Lucas is too young to understand the words, and out of Len's mouth is a different voice. It doesn't even sound like his, but when it comes down to it, it sounds a lot like Lucas, and it sounds a lot like his voice. 
as he makes a very familiar sound and almost as if something else had possessed him for a moment. This is what you say. Len closes his eyes for a moment and takes a deep breath. And as he speaks, the voice that comes out of him is not his own, but it is the voice of Lucas making the wish for him as he speaks through his father and goes, I wish for the town of Bottom to return to its former state without the void, with Artemis located inside of the town. As Artemis, you fall. Suddenly you begin to rise, and you feel yourself lifting. But you look back down, and you see Artemis' body, no, your father's body. Dropping to the cold black. Len, as you watch in sadness as this iron band you've held on to many years begins to finally rust and fall apart into dust on your finger, you begin to rise as well and you look down to see your father staring sadly at his hands. Lily, you begin to rise out of your own body as well and you look down to see your mother as this horrific creature, not anything like you've ever seen them before. And the three of you wake up in bed as Yui, Lucas, and Santiago. <sighs> Leaning against the wall of your room is the man made of lions. Well, this is me and you all back. I mean, am I older or am I like five? <laughs> no, it's you. Or, this is Len, Yui, and Santiago waking up at the festival. Back? What do you mean, back? I promised those three that I would pay them back. This is me doing that now. It's about nonsense. Are at you least partially. You just show up in the middle of nowhere and just say shit. Is that what you do? That was- I'm confused. I'm confused. Oh my god. Are you confused in meta, Sam? Yes, I'm confused in meta. You are at the festival, in-game, the three of you experienced all of that as your parent. That entire one shot was you three living through the memories of your parents. Going to fucking tackle them. Uh, you sprint at I am fucking and... waking up the other Lucas and I'm like. Uh, the other Lucas is not in bed. Where is he? Uh, Santiago, you sprint and try and ram at this line man. Wait, 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 wait. The closer you get, you disappears like fall next you. to you. And appears again at the other side. Fuck is shit. Where is Tad and the other- Where is Tad and Marcel? Dad, your father that and man. Marcel are fine. That, that happened years ago, Lucas. Yes, Huey, I know. He wished for her dad to be here! He wished for that it's... town to be okay! And it sort of worked. And that man that better damn well be okay. Both of them. All of them. Best be okay. He's not dead. None of them are? Yet, all three of them? All three of them are very much alive. Uh, Santiago, you can hear this as well. They, they, uh, once again, it's like he's talking to all three of you, but you're in separate locations. You be all that's... That was the day my dad left and never came back. I am getting up out of the room and I am going to go in and hunt down Yui. I imagine like Lucas just fucking like busts in the fucking door and he is just- he is just- um, Yui, I- And he's just gonna like run up to her and like hug her. 
Diago, I believe your friends need a little bit of What fucking game are you playing at? No game. Do you think you would have believed me if I just told you I'm right? If that happened? I think I'd rather know where she is. I think she's, she I, I'm like I'm like I'm like her? hugging you at the moment. One day he just no. went for work and he never came back. Uh, I fucking hated me. I am like hugging, I, like you. I have like you in my fucking chest, like holding and rubbing your hair. I'm like, he's alive. I know he's alive. He is alive. I know he's alive. Dad wouldn't wish for anything different. He spoke to yes. me, but I was so you young. Her, please, can you can you stand up for anything for me? I'm gonna like help you to her feet. If you want to yell at somebody, I'll give you somebody to yell at. And I'm gonna like bring her into the other room. Sophia? Yeah, where where everybody is, where all three of us are. Okay. Uh, Santiago, the door opens, and is it open locked? Um, I I mean, if I hear them outside, I'll fucking open it. Cause static man is in here. Yeah. I haven't heard Dad call me that nickname in a long time. I'm just picking shit up and I'm throwing it through his little apparition. <laughs> It's not going to work, Santiago. He's an Makes apparition. Me feel better. I think I do stupid shit for the sake of it. You ain't playing in any game. And you just make a woman experience yeah. her father's death. No fucking warning. No way you could have come I... towards with us about that. She's gonna fucking sleep putting us through that shit. If I tried to talk to you about it in person. I might have never been able to finish the sentence. And even if I had, I don't think any of you know me yet. I not have believed anything I'd said. I sure remember hearing Ma ask for your name a whole bunch and you ain't never been given one. How the fuck are we supposed to know you? You I will. I still feel like I'm in Dad's mind. And the words coming yeah. from him. Or the fact that we won't know, and we may never know, but it's fine. Everyone should be okay. I said what I needed to say. And, and that is I, for the town I, to be completely reconstructed with the void forever gone. And Artemis to be perfectly inside of the town. And that's why I came here to talk to you. The wish worked. Ish. The bottom isn't a place, especially that close to that something that powerful and that large. The wish didn't completely get rid of the void, but it did weaken it immensely. And Artemis isn't dead yet. He's falling. Still. For 20 minutes, he has been falling. For 13 years. Time gets slower and slower and slower. But the closer him, you get been... to the void. Minutes, if... yes. It's only been In minutes and now it's down there, seven up painful, here. Painful, so excruciating minutes, but minutes. It's not like we can go down there. It's as Same Dad said, too. it's better that it's him and not me. Saying you two at this moment. He still has the upper plates. If you count the upper plates years, right? He still has five years until he'd be too far gone. He can still be saved. Not sure how. For me, this just happened. I haven't had the time to think through it yet. It is still quite... Um... Yes. I'm sorry. Santiago, your mother wasn't taken. I followed and watched. She went back to your home. She helped you get back to your home. I kept my promise of bringing you back to win 
I'm sorry, of bringing your parents back to when they came. Yuri, I am sorry, I could not hold that promise for him. But I hadn't Son thought about my father since he left. He wanted to come home. Santiago, your mother was corrupted in sorts. When she returned home, he was the one who contacted the world government. Senegal was just seething. But, but, she recently contacted me again, just a few moments ago. Technically at the same time, so experienced, it's not going to get into that, I apologize. She's starting to come back. She wanted you to know. She was so It was because of you that she had to do whatever the fuck that was. It's because... Santiago, because she chose to do it herself. Mother, because of your mother, that you're not in the same situation as Bottom currently. This entire plate by now would be in the exact same place. Except much worse because space to destroy. I need to find Dad. I need to talk to my dad. <laughs> Yui, listen. Your father's predicament. I will happily admittedly take some responsibility for it. Most responsibility for it. I don't know how to help him. We're gonna figure it out. And that starts with talking with Dad. It was him. The raconteur of fate. The raconteur. He... He did this. The raconteur, Yui, I have been watching for quite some time now. None of it is his own ability. He has an item, a deck, like the one you have, but a lot more powerful. He only has a limited number of cards, but he can use those cards to alter both the past and the future. He what used happened? the Ten Swords to do that to your father. Yui would probably know what the Ten Swords means. Um, it symbolizes betrayal. It symbolizes, um, yeah, kind of, not really death exactly, but like an uprooting of everything. You no, know, it, it symbolizes a lot of things. There, all, there are obviously like all terror cards. Um, good things that you can take out of it, like a mm -hmm. new beginning, or uh, the chance of peace and hope to be found even in amidst darkness. Get it? <laughs> um, it marks the final ordeal, basically. You. So. If I'm getting this right. I'm not even gonna say that. No. Lucas, say it. I was my father the- my father was the only one who got away unscathed. Not a single scratch. Like he would've promised my mom. Not... physically. But he lost that ring. And he had some plans for that ring. It troubled him for- many years after, as far as I can tell. And obviously- A lot of things that troubled that man. Obviously, the disappearance and effect on the other two people he had trapped with. Not terribly close the three were, but still, it wasn't exactly a pleasant thing to watch one of them plunge into the void. I just... a wish spell to do hardly anything from his point of view. I just remember him feeling so angry. An emotion that Dad does not like to experience. <laughs> and 
and one I personally don't like to either. He raised me to be passive, and I cannot scrub from my feelings, my heart, the anger that was there. Because even though they weren't close, Dad just cares about everyone. And I see why Mom liked him a lot. As a form of a wince, I suppose you could say. Um, here. He reaches into his arm, pulls out one of the many lines that is holding him together in the mix of his body. It's quite short, it's only about that long. And he hands it to you, Santiago, who's currently the most kept together. He's handed you a line, and that's a really weird way to describe it, but it's the only way I could describe it. Um, I hesitantly take it. Use this whenever you need. I may not come knowing who you are yet, or maybe I'll come from slightly different versions, or maybe I will know more than you know. It will hardly ever be consistent, I apologize. But what I can do for you, I can take you between the layers of the world pillar. I'll take you to the door of the world pillar on any of the layers when you need me to. And if you wish to return to bottom, I can help you there as well. Does this offer go to what can I do there? The others as well? Yes, of course. I can't do more than ten people, though, just so you know. And even then, ten people may... Let me, let me put it this way. The more people who attempt to travel this way, the higher the chances are, and the more the destination may not be accurate. I can't leave Marcel by himself, and I still don't know where he is. He's gone. And I don't know where he's gone. Um, if there's anything else you'd wish to ask, um, please do so. It's taking everything I have to stay here in this moment. Where's Dad? If you have any ilking where he is. <laughs> Your father is very lost currently. You mean lost as in lost as in, in a ship lost? Yes, his airship crashed on an island um, near Piliador City, um, and he's been dealing with the locals there quite humorously, I must say. That's where we need to go next. That little village. I mean, it's the only one who knows what happened. Bottom. Is it still there? Y yes. Um... Lily returned to the world government, as I told you, and she informed them of what she had learned. Um, they have repopulated a large portion of Bottom and expanded it to a large degree. How many of those residents are women? They've how many of those residents were willing? I can't say. I don't know. I believe she's quite regretful now. Or at least she's starting to be. Does she know I'm here? On this lower yeah. plate? She doesn't even know that you left your home. The government has kept you a complete secret from them. They wish was that you were granted a certain level of protection. Well, that really fucking paid off, huh? Pilator, was it? I have a question. Yes. And yes. Even Lucas. as a, even as a young girl. I never fully understood what my dad's job was. 
but was he involved? But I think with all this, was he involved with the world government too? Your father was Your father was a vice praetor, well on his way to becoming a full one. He was I replaced see. with I think you know who The Raconteur. Justin, in meta, do we retain a lot of what happened is like everything that was said? You, everything. Every last detail. So it's that like you experienced it. My mother would know quite well. So my mother is he He threw my father to his possible grave. Out of jealousy. And then he came back when I was a teenager. And tormented me. Made me think so many things with his stories and cards. <laughs> Why? I do not know. Some people are evil. And some people it's okay to murder. I am. Uh, Lucas is hugging Yui, and he's just like, shh, it's okay. It's okay. We'll figure something out. I promise you. We, I, we'll figure it out. We're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. He, he's kind of like, he's kind of like gently like tapping your face with his hand. He's like, hey, 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 hey. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. It's gonna be the okay. Lineman yeah, it's gonna be okay. Blips out of existence for like a solid thirty seconds. At the right of the moment, you think he's gone for good. He blips back in in the middle of a conversation, and that was why I had to do it. I fucking hate you. What? You had to do what? You asked why I had to. Oh. What did I, I ask? He blips oh out of existence. God. He blips back in. What did Sorry. I ask? I will keep my I... father's promise to you. No, I was explaining to your parents why I brought them down to the bottom. Sorry. I'm gonna go find that man at Paleotor and he's going have a lot of questions to answer and he's going to be 100% confused because now I very much understand why they two were together, how they got together and I am very mad but humor me where's Marcel? I think, I don't know I think he, I think he's outside of this inn <laughs> I'M WORRIED, OKAY?! <laughs> he, like, glances out the window of Santiago's room and goes, LOOK, HE'S RIGHT THERE! I'm walking over to the window. He's, um, sitting on the low wall, looking out at the ocean. I'm gonna open the window. <laughs> Is it the middle of the night? <laughs> no, it's, like, really early morning. I'm gonna open the window and I poke my head out. Obviously, I've been crying, and I'm like... <laughs> Aren't you cold out there? What? Are you... Are, are you cold out there? You. Oh, it's the lying man again! Oh, are you guys talking? I'll be right there, hold on! And he, he rushes in. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas is crying and laughing. And he's just like... His enthusiasm is so nice. Listen. 2D buckaroo. Um... As much as I absolutely hated every moment of that, I'm glad I got to hear a voice again. So thanks, I guess. Again, I he's gone. He disappears, like in the middle of a sentence. He can't stay linear for more than a second or so. I'm gonna go buy cigarettes. Fuck this. <laughs> Immediately off. Get Earliest up. in the morning. Um, Lucas is gonna walk back over, and he's like, basically got his glasses off. He's wiping his face, and he is can going to. Can leave the room to, so I can lock it? Uh. <laughs> I 
thought you were buying I cigarettes. Want to lock the door. <laughs> I don't like the thought of people looking at my items. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we'll leave. Items or items. They, <laughs> they leave. They're gonna go to Yui's room. He's gonna sit down on your bed and he's gonna tap, gesturing you to come sit. I. I'm sorry. First of all, that must have been excruciating. At least I know he didn't hate me. I can feel the same about my dad. And I promise you, no matter how long it takes, even if I have to personally, I'll go down there and get him. You don't deserve what happened. And you <sighs> don't deserve the pain of knowing. But I'd rather you know than not at all. But I'm going to go and hunt down my father. And we're going to go and figure something out. I want to go with you. Happily. Believe you me, I'd do anything to hear him call me his little sunflower again. From several rooms down, you hear a ching! Warlock, guys! We're in here, You're Mark, no. door. You could have told me you moved! How you am I supposed to tell you if, you if I moved rooms? She sees the two rooms. of you with, like, red eyes sitting on the same bed, like, right, right up next to each other. It's like, oh. And he closes the door. What's <laughs> I'm legitimately getting up and ripping the door open. I'm like, get in here. No, no, no. Grabbing you and putting you back on the bed. <laughs> I get it. You just... You don't have to... Put a little bit quiet. Right now. <sighs> I guess if you saw all that, you heard too. My name's not Yui. I'm... I'd prefer if you called me that a little bit, just for a little bit longer. You are Yui to me. <laughs> Thank you. Even though I think Emily's a cute name, I'm... I'm not mad at you. Thank you. <sighs> 